Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, Orb Agent Canadian here, and I'm just bringing you my first episode on the Minceraft server. I've been working on my house. It's really coming along. I got a, I got a pig pen set up, and I've also been working on a nice cactus farm here. So I've got some, I've got some scarecrows that I'm making because I'm tired of all these pesky, like, animals and creatures coming in here. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's go with a pumpkin, maybe a... Oh, So if you were smart enough and read the video title, you'd realize that this was just a pointless little introduction troll. And uh, so we are doing a mod entitled the Creature Statue Mods, which allows you to do something really cool in Minecraft, which is instead of using spawn eggs, you actually just outline the shape of the mob you want to create, and uh, you place a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern on the top of it where the face or the head would go. And I'll give you guys another example here. I'll do the creeper one one more time here in my cactus farm. The creeper is two light green wool, and then you put a pumpkin on top. I'm gonna place it and run. Leave me alone, please, please, creeper. Stop. I kill you. 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 Got him. Good. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap into game mode, creative, thanks to the new Minecraft 1.3 cheats, which is sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and take some wool out and give you guys some more demonstrations. Don't need that. I will also design a piggy for my pig pen. Take a pumpkin and a jack-o'-lantern out just to show you that they both work if you didn't catch it earlier on in that intro when I used both already. And I think I will make... What else should I design? We will make... Uno Mas Gast. Yes, so I'm going to give you guys three little demonstrations and then the rest will be up to you guys. So this is how you make the piggy. You design them like that. Shape of a pig, sideways. And then... Boom! We have a pig! Look at him, sideways. See, that's his profile. Looks good. I can punch him. He's real. He's real, I'm telling you. And this is how you design spiders. Jack-o'-lantern or pumpkins work. I'll show you that once again. There is two more spiders coming. One with a jack-o'-lantern, one with a pumpkin. And here's how you make an enderman. You just stack them three tall. Same thing goes. There you got an enderman. He's real. I assure you, I can punch him. And then this one is truly awesome. I designed it earlier in my shack here, my house, and uh, he didn't like it. <laughs> As you can tell, my house took a beating. So we'll make another one and finish my house off. This is how you create the ghast. You want to go five by four tall, leave the slot there open, and then pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern, boom, there's a ghast, but I think he's going to die. Yeah, squeal, squeal. All right, that's it. <laughs> Ghast is dead. So here's some on-screen screenshots or images to show you guys how to design all of the creatures in this mod. There's really not much else for me to say. It's a very cool mod that can spice up your Minecraft life if you're somebody who doesn't like to do too many changes but would like to be able to get uh, a new way of making mobs, I guess, multiply. Rather than farming them and feeding them and mating them, you can just collect some colored wool and uh, design them, make them for yourself, place them wherever you like them, you don't have to chase them around, and it, it's pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was quick and brief, but I guess that's probably better for these mob spotlights to just make them to the point and uh, then end it. So that is it, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Here's three more videos, and uh, because you guys were all asking for it yesterday, I will put the banjo in this outro. Take care now. Oh, <laughs>